Okay, we're back on the air. Uh, Percy Hugo is working like a maniac over there, trying to get ready for his political segment. Yeah, I'm, I'm constantly. And Lance activated. Miller is going to do. Let me take that here for you, Lance, Lance Miller. Miller, genuine drink. I know. Yeah. We're drinking Miller tonight. It's Lance. Genuine Lance draft. Morrison. I knew it started with an M. Morrison. Anyway, draft. what we have here is off the wall. Look at those. Look at those production values. Off the wall, <laughs> Lance Morrison. And Lance, what have you got for us tonight? Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, as you, uh, as I've spoken to you before, I'm I'm writing some new material, kind of kind of keep myself regular. Mm -hmm. um, That's always helpful. Prunes will do that. Well, yeah. I, I write it in the bathroom too. But uh, there's a couple things that I've Are come up with. Are you saying your with. material is poop? Yeah, it's it's in the crapper. <laughs> I could I just not being able to swear doesn't give that joke the proper hit. It seems that uh, it seems it, it, you might not want to try this. Taking out your mailbox is not a good excuse for not getting your bills. I mean, you can try what did you do to your mailbox? Well, no. I mean, removing it. Sorry. You know, oh, you're not right. your bills, so you just well, took your can't mailbox. Can't deliver the bills. Times are tough. I don't know you anything. You don't say. Time, I never got it. Times, but that only works for a short period. It turns out that uh, tampering with your mailbox is a federal offense. Just a little side note. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Tampering with your own mailbox. Yes, absolutely. Wow. So, uh, just a uh, side note: you cannot take your mailbox out and expect not to get bills. I don't know. Okay? So, uh, uh, also, uh, I've been working on the uh, on the comedy act, and uh, I've been trying to perform in a lot of different venues, and I, I found exposure is good, uh, unless, of course, you're uh, near a middle school playground. So Lance has been exposing himself, right. <laughs> comically, so, of course. Uh, <laughs> he exposed you, himself, and everybody laughs. Did you buy so, a windowless van? A windowless, yeah, <laughs> white <laughs> panel, yeah, free you candy. You see me in your neighborhood. Yeah, that's true. Uh, a little side note, uh, Ben Gay is not a good treatment for jock itch. Oh. Eee, no, oh, I would man. think not. What is a good treatment for junk itch? That's like putting cologne in your groin. <laughs> That's a bad move all, all the way. What kind of cologne do you wear if Ben Gay is Old like... Spice. <laughs> no, who was that comic who once talked about it? He said he thought he'd try that because he's going on a really hot date. So he tried putting cologne actually in his groin. Ooh. And he was running around screaming. <laughs> you really, That's a bad decision. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Been a lot of people going into space, uh, rich people mainly. Yep. Now, do you all think there I got so much money. Yeah. I'm going into space. Do you all think there ever be a day when someone lands on Uranus? <laughs> Boom! I got to do that. I'm no, sorry. I know I gotta, some. Uh, I know I, some. Not if I'm paying any attention. I can't call it a rim shot though. After well, after the joke. Well, I, made. now I know there's some gay guys out there dreaming about the day some rich person lands on Uranus, but uh, you know who you are. <laughs> want to uh, want to clear this up? I am special, but I'm not special. And I don't know. That's a my short bus they brought you over here on. A little, uh, little uh, a side note here. Uh, you talked about sports a few minutes ago. We didn't hit sure. on this topic. Uh, Tiger Woods. Uh, What's the Tiger? Tiger Woods apologized for his behavior. Uh, of course, he it, did, didn't he? he actually, got yeah. here. Was it 13 minutes? Ago? It was a decent man call by. I got to give him that. Of course, if he hadn't uh, been caught, he'd still be using his drivers, the oh. one in his golf bag and the one above his bag in his pants. Nice. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. Well done. Does anybody really give a rat's ass about Tiger Woods' apology? Yes. Does anybody give a rat's ass about Tiger Woods and his affairs? I don't care. I'm sure his wife does. Tee up. Yeah, but well, sure, that's, but that's, I'm not married to him. The, tee up, pal. Put the ball on the tee. Give it a whack. Well, they, they had to do sponsor. something to get him out. They had to do something to break the ice, to get the ball rolling, so to speak. To to they want so him back on the tour. Yeah. Well, they have to. I mean, they, they're losing money. I mean, they no one's it. coming to see these other guys. I mean, Phil, Phil Mickelson's a great golfer, but people ain't flocking out to see him. He ain't it's it's rare in a sport that one person becomes so. Uh, so yeah, that's really identified I, with it. That's really because when I grew up, there Tiger were Israel. many great golfers yeah. you had to go see. There are Lee still Germino, many Arnold golfers. Palmer, Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, just, you wanted to see these guys because you were a golf enthusiast. Tiger Woods is a great golfer, but let's face it, he's out there because he's a big celebrity. Well, he's a celebrity because of how good he is at golfing, sure. But he's like it, uh, one of the things that adds to it is not just Tiger Woods' celebrity status, but how much better he was than everybody else when he was playing. And you'd, you'd see shots of yeah. sheer genius. Sure. But it doesn't mean VJ Singh, you know, Phil Mickelson, doesn't mean these guys are bad golfers. These guys are still great golfers. And now that we're seeing the field without Tiger Woods, yeah. there's great competition in golf without Tiger Woods on the sure. tour. Nobody cares. And then, see, that's, that's, yeah, that's just your point. And then, you know, Tiger comes out. Tiger is golf. 
even when you look at the scores, when when they show the scores on a Sunday round, uh -huh. uh, they show first, second, third, you know, first through tenth, Tiger, and then twenty through sure. whatever. And well, the interesting thing about it is if you watch a golf match that involves Tiger Woods. The four, I do. The four bastards that, that are in the top three, if Tiger Woods is not in the top three, yeah. they hit on those three guys and then they immediately <laughs> talk about Start Tiger. Start talking about, well, oh, how's yeah. Tiger going to get back in this? <laughs> where's, where's Tiger? That's all they do. do. They'll, right, show, so. uh, they'll show Tiger Woods doing anything. They don't even have to show him shooting. You'll hear the announcers will be like, they need to make a movie with Tiger Woods playing Happy Gilmore. It's true. Uh, we're going back to the 15th tee where apparently Tiger has, uh, has farted. He lifted his left leg. <laughs> Time, which I think was a good choice. Ed, well, Jim, I, uh, I normally would go with the right leg on this one because there's the right lie on this one, but, uh, you know, left, left leg is a bold choice for Tiger. That skid mark's going to run across the green. It's going to run right across the green. Well, the greens, the, those pants are, are rather fast today. And right now, looking at the scoreboard, Bob, it looks like Tiger is uh, 12 over at this time with 12 holes to go. I think he's still in it. Yeah, he's... Uh, <laughs> He's he's twelve over par for a marriage. <laughs> yes, okay, Finally, so, uh, you know you heard that joke. What's that? Where uh, the inter the uh, the police question Elon his wife. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Elon. Ellen? Elon. Elon. Because yes. his wife, and they asked her how many times did you actually hit Tiger Woods with that golf club? She said, "Well, about seven or eight times to put me down for a four. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, when she hit him between the legs, she just called it an OB. Yeah, I was in, she the, took le a, I was in the leather. She took a mulligan on his right That's testicle. Right. What else do you got there for yeah, us? Yeah, yes. Just one more thing I'd All like right. to I'd like to say. I, I just, you know, I'm not an advocate for a lot of things, but I'm going to have to tell you, I do not eat battered, whipped, or smothered, or beaten food. Okay? Battered, I whipped, smothered, or... Or, or beaten or food. Beaten food. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. You see on the menu sometimes battered shrimp. I don't. Why do they have to battered batter, shrimp syndrome? Why do they have to batter the shrimp? And then and then I get what if they ever have like beer hey, batter, batter. if they ever have beer batter shrimp yeah on the menu I get this really bad visual. Of like some shrimps getting pounded by a <laughs> chef and a wife beater <laughs> sucking back on a on a schlitz. We're pounding him, pounding him with a beer, beer batter. Well, like an episode of Prawn Cops, and they pull up, yeah. and there's one shrimp on the lawn. You'll never do this to me again, woman. <laughs> and smothered chicken. Smothered chicken is the most disturbing. <laughs> I can see some far with a pillow right. sneaking up on the chicken. <laughs> I have to ask him. I have to ask the wait staff. I, this is I, great. I say, what? Look, tell me about the smothered chicken. How they do it? Was it was it a pillow? Mm. Or was it? Mm. Did they throw it in a gunny sack and throw it in the river? No, no. Nowadays we call it enhanced interrogation chicken. Because so, uh, I watch a lot Water of CSI. You know how they? You know how they, You can tell the chicken's smothered. You know the eyes are bulging when you get it. <laughs> So, uh, but uh, that's really all I have, um, you know, smothered, beaten, whipped, and, oh, the other thing is, if they bring me some smothered chicken, the next question I ask them is, um, I say, you know, my wife and I just flew back in from Hawaii, and all we have is Hawaiian money. Do you guys take... <laughs> Can I exchange this for real money? No, do you guys take Hawaiian currency? Now, I want y'all to try that. Go out this weekend, if you take your significant other to dinner... You Can I say, say with Hawaiian You say in deadpan, say, you know, my wife and I just got back from Hawaii, and all we got is Hawaiian money. Do you guys take Hawaiian currency? And nine times out of ten, the waitress will go, I really don't know. I have to go ask. Let them go, because it is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Let's off the wall with Lance Morris, and we'll be right back with CulbertRadio.com.